Okay, so we're going to set up a linear regression here to try and figure out the value of an unknown. We need to set up a basic relationship, for instance, uh, concentration in terms in units of x and absorbance, which is unitless. So we'll do 1x and then we'll just do serial dilution, so we'll do multiple, cutting it in half multiple times, and then make those numbers uniform, so to two decimal places. So various concentrations of x as we dilute, as we dilute it in half over and over again, and let's just pick some numbers, I don't know, let's say the absorbance is 1.35, and then cut it in half and we get uh, 0. 86, 0 0.36, 0 0.19, 0 0.12, 0 0.04, and then zero absorbance at the blank by definition. So then we're going to insert a scatter plot because that's how you do linear regression. And you can see right now that's not the correct pattern. We need to clarify how we're selecting data. So we're going to edit that and tell it what the x values are. OK. And now we can add a trend line. Uh, right. And it can't do logarithmic because it has a 0 in it. So uh, let's try a polynomial. And how do we know which one's better? Remember that we're checking r squared value. So linear, 0.983s. Polynomial, 0.9942. Higher r squared value, so it's a better fit for our data. So that's the one we're going to use. Let's find a better spot to put that. It's not better. There we go. And we don't need this. There we go, pretty good. Now, don't forget your axis labels, but we're not going to do them right now. And now, what you want to do is, I've got another data set to show you. Once you've got that, is we find our, take our unknown value, which is our y, and we figure out what x, where that would fall in our pattern. So, for instance, with this pattern, put in 0.46 for the y value, solve for x, and it'll tell us uh, where we predict that to fall along the concentrations that we have measured. Okay, so scatter plot, trend line, and insert your unknown value.